Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you your campaign section on Sell It Picks. Let's get started! You can create your campaigns on three ways. Here in the campaign section, your template section, and on template section. Just click on the Create Campaign button. Then you can go ahead and create your campaign name. Then click on Add Campaign button. Now here is the section where you can edit your campaign details. First, you have the variables. You can add in the first name here, and you will immediately see it on the live preview beside it. Now if you want to add another variable, just click on Add Variable button. For example, I want to add in a last name variable. I'll just select it here and add the value here. After that, click on the Copy button. What you'll need to do is paste it here on the content setting after the first name variable. Now, if you want to delete it, you can click Delete button here, but it will show the last name variable on the live preview because you will have to remove it on your content setting. Once it is removed, you will not see it on the live preview. Speaking of your content setting, you have here a selection of fonts, text color, font size, line height, and your offsets. If you want to reset your changes, just click on Reset All Settings of the HTML Editor. Next, you have your thumbnail setting. You can add your thumbnail title here, and you will see it below your image. And for your landing page setting, enter in your landing page URL here. Then click on the Update button. Now going back to your thumbnail setting, you can choose a background image. Just click on this button, and we have a variety of background image you can choose from. Just click on the Change button. Then, you will automatically see it on the live preview. From here, you can go ahead and modify your text. And don't forget to update your campaign. Now going back to the campaign section, you will now see it was added here. If you want to search for a campaign specifically, you can just type in the campaign name on the search bar. And for your convenience, we have a button here to our tutorial videos for Sell It Picks. So if you ever need help on that, just click on this button. And from here, you can further edit your template or delete your template. Now let's edit some more. If in case you have your own image, you can upload it here. Just click on the Upload button, choose your file, then it will be added to your live preview. Once again, you can modify your text depending on your liking. Just don't forget to update your campaign. Now you can share your image in many ways. First, you can generate image for sharing. Just click on the Generate button, then just copy this one, add another tab, and this is how your image turned out. You can change the first name here. Then again, update your campaign, and if you generate another link, and view it, you will then see the updated one. Now you can also generate a URL or a link for social. Again, just click on the Generate button, copy it, and send it to your social media accounts. And see here, they will see your image and your thumbnail title. And if they click on it, they will be redirected to your landing page URL that you have added here. And you can send this link to any other social media accounts. Next, 
You can also generate dynamic image URL for email and landing pages. Just click on the Generate button. Copy this link and you can send it by inserting a photo. Click on Web Address and paste in your link. And here you can see the variable. Just replace the first name variable to their name. Then you will see the image below. Insert it and you can then send it to your client. Now you can also generate JavaScript for landing page. Click on the Generate button. You will see your JavaScript. Copy it. Go to your landing page and paste it there. Open your page source and paste your code into your landing page. Define your variable according to your campaign. This is your variable where you can find here and also here. As you can notice, in between your variables, this symbol is a divider. If a variable value found in the URL, then put a divider before written value. And if not found, after divider will value show on the page. Or you can simply add variable in the page anywhere. And lastly, you can generate landing page URL. Just click on the generate button, copy it and paste it to your landing page. Then, define your variable. And you will immediately see the changes here. The first name is now changed to Harry. If you remove the first name variable, then a first name will not be shown on your landing page. And if you add one, then you will see a name like so. You can also see the first name here because we have added a first name variable on this section. And again, if you remove it, it will be removed from this section also. And that is how your campaigns work on Sell It Picks. Thank you for watching.